afternoon from Texas. My name is Ivana and I didn't sleep last night because I was on a 13 hour flight from Hong Kong to Dallas. We have a six hour layover here and then we're off to Lima, Peru. So in those six hours I already wasted two hanging out at the airport and being very slow. But right now I'm at Irving Mall and we're gonna hang out here. All right guys, Irving Mall, let's see what we can do here. There's an Aeropostale. I think I want to go there. Going into Shoppers World. I hope this is kind of like a supermarket because like the huge American supermarkets, they always have like lots of clothes as well. But I hope they also have like food and stuffs. Let's see. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> that was just clothes and some furniture. Nothing I'm looking for. Aeropostale would be nice. Sorry, I'm really slow. I haven't slept at all. So in Hong Kong now, so where I left, it is I think 6 a.m. in the morning. I didn't sleep at all. Hmm. There we go, Aeropostale. And I just came here after Black Friday. So nice. Maybe have some good deal. To be very honest, sleep deprivation kills me. And I even would have trouble now taking off this jacket because my body has trouble controlling my temperature and stuff because I'm just too tired so not a chance in hell that I'm going shopping or trying any clothes on this is where we need to be this is where we need to be the food court girl needs to eat oh my gosh look at those dark circles I'm so tired like no words <laughs> no freaking way no freaking way <gasps> Santa Claus is here Massive Home Alone vibes, even though we're not in New York. But like, seeing this in real life, this is too cute. Look at this, little Santa village. <gasps> this is so cute. When you're near the Mexican border, obviously you need to order Mexican food. I adore Mexican food. Last time in Cali, I also ate so much Mexican food. So I ordered a burrito over here at El Taco Rico, and I see, I'm guessing Mexican people because they speak Spanish a lot, but that would be kind of racist. Just because you speak Spanish doesn't mean you're Mexican. But at the same time, we're near the Mexican border and they like Mexican food, so you do the math. I'm too tired for that. So I ordered a burrito for less than $2, and I asked her, like, how big is it? Because American portion sizes, you know, like, are huge. And I actually also wanted a cheese quesadilla. And she was like, it's quite big. So I was like, okay, let me eat that first. And then maybe later I will also order a cheese quesadilla to uh, take with me to the airport. I'm so slow, you have no idea. Like, oh my gosh. And like, I, I cannot, I can't handle, I can't handle caffeine. I can't handle sleep deprivation. Like, how am I still alive? I have to admit, this is quite a big burrito but it's not bigger than a subway sandwich look at my hand i eat quite a lot maybe i will also order a quesadilla but let me eat this first when you're actually thinking about ordering more food before you even eat your food that's how i roll baby okay so this is a burrito with deep fried meats it was one of the two veg options on the menu <laughs> But it sounds good, and I was just happy that there was more than a quesadilla. Mm. No. Damn, this is good. So this tortilla is like warm and perfectly crispy. Like look at this. This is like crispy. Mm. And the refried beans. I don't know what to think about refried beans. I've had them before once. No. It's kind of like bean mush. I'm not sure. This burrito is good. Mm. There's cheese in there. Mm. Mm. This is good comfort food when you've had no sleep. Mm -hmm. Just waiting for the taxi. It is 8 p.m. now and I'm currently dying because only now I see that, I have to show you this, there is an IHOP across the street. And during these times, they probably have, uh, can you see it? This is an IHOP. This right here. Hello, IHOP. This, can you see it? 
and they probably have the Cinestec and I, I am not amused that I'm only seeing this right now. In the taxi again and I'm asked the wonderful taxi driver if we can stop by the IHOP so I can just get pancakes to go because I can't handle men, I can't passing by IHOP and not having the pancakes especially if they probably have Cinestec. Yay, I hope, I hope. Unfortunately, no Cinestack. What is up with the Cinestack? Is that only in San Francisco? What is up with it, man? Okay, obviously gonna look for it in San Francisco, but for now I just ordered a New York cheesecake pancakes to go. Hey guys, I shit you not, literally making all of the security guards jealous with my pancakes. Like everybody was like, oh, do you wanna share? Do you wanna share? <laughs> and I was like, you know what? You can have those glazed strawberries, these, because I really, really don't like these. Mm. Sorry, this is your pancake view. They were like, no, even if we, we could. I am having so much trouble speaking. I think by now I have been up for, yeah, basically for 24 hours. 24 hours, no sleep at all. I'm happy I can speak. Oh, look at this. Wow. <laughs> How happy does this make you? It makes this girl very happy. By the way, one of the security guards, he told me like, oh, you didn't know? There's an IHOP at gate E8. So Echo 8. And I was like, good, because when I'm coming back, I only have a layover time of three hours. So obviously going to gate E8. <laughs> and, oh, well, everybody was like, oh, that smells so good, blah, blah, blah. I was like, yeah, yeah, it does. Oh, you're actually supposed to eat it. Should I eat it the American way? I don't like eating it the American way. You know, like digging into it like a, like a cake, like I'm doing right now. You know what I like to do? Do the, uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> do the very oddly unsatisfying cut. Okay, who's cringing right now? All the OCD people. <laughs> this is what I did. <laughs> <laughs> I know one person who is going completely mental right now. She's watching. Tut, this is for you. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so good. Yeah. Mm. I hope pancakes. It's magic. Ooh, ooh. You know what I also got? Even though I think it's way too sweet. Ah. It's a festive season in the US. I got a special Starbucks latte. This is the chestnut praline chai latte, I think. Yeah. Basically, I have to ask everything twice to everyone at this point because I cannot, I cannot understand. I'm just trying to function a little bit normally. Pancakes help. Can I also make a super honorable recommendation for the lovely people of Texas? Literally, everyone is so nice and so friendly. The girl at the IHOP restaurant, my taxi driver, he was so sweet. All the security guards here, or maybe they were just sucking up to me because of the pancakes. I don't know, I don't care. You guys are so freaking nice, Texas people. I've met Texas people before in Thailand. She's being so rude, like making my announcements while I'm vlogging. Like, why would you do that? Texas, you rock. I need to see more. I can't finish the pancakes. But you know what? I'm just gonna take them with me. And probably tomorrow, in my hotel room, when I take a little nap, I will be able to finish them. I'm not throwing away IHOP pancakes. Are you crazy? No. Not. Boarding our flight to Lima, Peru. Wait, I sound kind of awake. I'm not. I'm a walking zombie. I was looking for gate 827. Apparently, gate 827 is the Harry Potter gate at Dallas Fort Worth Airport. It does not exist. Oh, by the way, 826 also does not exist. There's an 825 and an 828, just so you know. Also, I hope this flight is empty. You have no idea how hard I am praying for this to be real right now. If I ever needed an aisle for myself, 
it was tonight like I can't please 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 let this be real man let this be real never ever ever has a whole road to myself been a bigger blessing sleeping for 24 hours uh, but I, I'm rejuvenated I'm a whole different human being I know I still look like that but uh, oh, that was so good I think I slept for five hours we are currently landing in Lima Peru I am so freaking excited the other side will arrive tomorrow but we'll talk about that later we just land go through immigration pick up the luggage get to the hotel we can chill in Currently in the car slash taxi slash friend of my brother. So my brother has a friend and he is married to a Peruvian girl and her brother still lives in Lima. Do you want to say hi? Hi. Hi. <laughs> so he came to pick me up. It is now 7 a.m. in the morning off to the hotel. Uh, we're probably gonna be able to check in this afternoon. But in the meantime, I can work. I feel rejuvenated after having all of those seats for myself. That was such a blessing. Girl found the hotel. I was just uh, checking everything online. The Wi-Fi is good. The room will be ready in the afternoon. Right now it is 11 a.m. And I just found out, brilliant planner that I am, an organizer, that I literally forgot all of my hoodies except this one back home on the laundry rack winning in life I just washed them before this trip and I was just like nah in the morning apparently so we're off to a mall and gonna do some shopping my battery is flashing and apparently I forgot my extra battery and the other battery is in my small luggage and I already went on my way but we're probably We'll manage, we'll manage. The foodie in me immediately notices that they have these super, super, super cute sweets shops where you can sit. And this one in particular is like too adorable. They have all of these Christmas decorations and everything. <gasps> if I didn't need to shop, I would just chill here. Just walking towards the mall and it's about an hour an hour there and an hour return so I'll be walking probably two hours if I'm not too tired but I figured you know I've been on a 13 hour flight to Dallas didn't walk that much over there and then another six hour flight to Lima so I'm like I need to walk man like for my mental health and for my physical health I think that's the best what I noticed immediately is all of the space again I don't know like when you're in Hong Kong you get used to like the, the you know everything being so close to each other but then when you come here you're just like all of this space all of this space man like space everywhere well hello from the room again the battery died and I was just so tired that I was like you know what I'm just gonna focus on the shopping to get this done I bought three new sweaters knitted jumpers whatever you want to call it this is one of them also i'm wearing leggings and socks in bed because in my book it's cold right now i'm gonna take an animal face mask because after 26 hours of travel my skin obviously needs it my face sk facial skin i need it i need it right now i'm so tired i just want to lay down for 15 minutes then eat edit videos yep still after 26 hours of travel still needs to happen not always the glamorous life you think but i'm very happy hashtag blessed i was gone after five minutes like literally passed out fell asleep at 9 30 which is still quite okay figuring that i arrived in peru or lima 
at 6 a.m. Let me show you the room, give you a little room tour before I check out because I really, really like this hotel. So this is the hallway where you come in and over here is the bathroom. A really nice hot shower. And hi, hi, Wemperu. <laughs> uh, over here is a little desk where you can work, but I didn't do that. Uh, I have a one person room, obviously, because I'm just by myself. This was a really nice bed, medium hardness, I would say, but still, I slept so, so well. The sun is shining outside. We're gonna check out here. After that, I'm gonna do some work, and then we're gonna check into the new hotel booked by Prom Peru. And tonight, our kind of program in Peru starts with a dinner. See this beautiful square, people chilling outside. I think this is a church. Oh, that looks nice, man. 